Hello, I'm Monica Price and welcome to Cover TV. On today's show, we welcome Robert Hazel and Jackie Hawkins from Samwell Libraries, who will be talking to us about events that are taking place in the Black Country. Also joining me is award-winning countertenor Welsh opera singer Yestin Morris. Today are Robert and Jackie from Samwell Libraries, who have come to tell us all about the summer events that are taking place across the Black Country. Welcome, Robert. You've been here before, so welcome yes, back to Cover yes. TV. Thank you for and Jackie, inviting me. Thank Cover you. TV. Thanks lovely for to see us. you. Yeah. And look at all this lovely array of goodies on my table. This is wonderful. So tell us about what's going on, Jackie. What's going on in the summer? Well, we've had lots going on and lots more to come as mm. well. We've recently had um, a Books into Art um, project. Oh, fantastic. Tell us um, about that. That's about trying new ways to, to bring people into libraries through art um, and the Black Country authorities um, recently did a bid, uh, an Arts Council mm -hmm. bid, gave us all this money, yes. uh, so that was Wonderful. great, <laughs> yes, which is what we always want. Um, and we've had um, storytellers, we've had um, artists in the library, and the children um, we had class, class visits, we had a beautiful art installation, um, and our chosen um, installation was Line the Witch in the Wardrobe, oh. so we've got this beautiful bandstand, oh, fantastic. The children came in, decorated it all, there's lovely icicles um, hanging so yes. the, the customers were a bit yes, yes, in yeah, the hottest day there? of the yes, summer yes, yes. Um, and it's just all lovely innovative ways to lovely. get children um, into, into books and I reading. I mean libraries were, I said, when I was a child I used to go to the library every week without mm -hmm. without any hesitation but Robert are li libraries now sort of you know the, the declining numbers because of the way that people read they can have a Kindles and other books we read online are they, are they getting well, more really people? Well really Sandwell Libraries we, we've been increasing our visits year mm. on year really and we offer e-magazines now and e-books as well so we are keeping up with the trends. So you've had to adapt really so we have to adapt. Yes, to adapt. But I mean I, I mean I hope the libraries never sort of cease to cease to be because there was there was a worry you know just a few years ago when libraries were closing down. Mm -hmm. Does that what does that worry <coughs> well, you? In Sandal Jackie? Libraries we've managed to keep all of mm -hmm. our 19 libraries open. Which is um, great. It's been difficult but again it's using innovative ways, funding like streams, you said, yes. all of those mm -hmm. ideas and, and just telling children all the things that we have to offer because we think that once we get these children yes. once they're young they'll continue to use yes. us all the way you know we're a cradle to the grave service. yes absolutely you yes know. that's <coughs> it excuse me and the other thing as well he's offering different things so we offer knitting now yes some of the libraries do belly dancing yes oh, um there's, I think it's there's ukulele belly dancing. <laughs> so it's it's something for everyone yes. really so yeah. it, it's thinking of things to get people through the door quite innovative uh, things that's really true, yeah. isn't that's it? it so you've had the book club yeah. and you and there's other innovative ways this this summer. Saturday we've got the launch of the Summer Reading Challenge. Mm -hmm. It's a national um, challenge and this year there's always um, something. So this year it's... Um Mommy Robbers. It's, oh, record, it's record breakers. Record breakers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Record, so record breakers. breakers. So yes. uh, we're asking children to come in. They come in, they read six books, they get incentives, they get mm. medals at the end of it. And they love to come. They love to come every year. Mm. And, and we're always going out into the schools yes. to promote it, to get them to come in. Mm. Uh, we've got... Um, talent contests, yeah. all of these things that, you know, really take children and think, right, that's yes. it, I'll keep coming to the library. And I mean, and coming from the black country yourself, you know, you're very passionate about the black country. Yeah. And I see there's a little array on my table. So, Robert, <coughs> would you like to tell me what you've brought along yes. for me today? Yes, what we've got here is um, in July, we celebrate Black mm. Country Day. Yes. Um, but the Black Country Festival takes place um, all in July. So the whole so of this month. Across, mm -hmm. across the borough, mm -hmm. uh, so all the black country authorities and Sandwell libraries uh, are really behind it. So we've got things going from film shows, variety shows. Some of the libraries do food tasting, so people can try different yes. uh, different foods of the black country. Um, and also, there are brochures available in all libraries with all the events listing on the website as well. Fantastic. So it's a great time to come in and find out more yes. about the local area, really. Wonderful. And what's this What's this thing about, I was looking at that with interest. Oh. Well, now, what is this? Being well, not from the Black Country <coughs> myself. Well, the Black Country name was yes. a little bit of fun that we had last year. We launched it last year. Yes. Um, and you can find your Harry Potter name and you can find your magician's okay. name, your Star Wars name. Right. So we thought, really, you should have a Black Country name. And the, the way we did it, was to um, get some words 
that sometimes some are still used, but yes. they are beautiful old fashioned black country words. Yes. So it raised awareness of the language as well. Right. So it was the first name, first letter of your, your Christian name, mm -hmm. and then the last letter, so Monica. Yes, yours. that's do me then. Mm -hmm. So the first one would be Blart. Blart. Which really means to cry. Right. So, <laughs> so a blarting baby would be a, a, a baby oh, that that's crying. Awesome. <laughs> And then we've, we've got Vezi, which is E, and that's a vest. So you'd be Blart Vezi, would be Blart your black Vezi. <laughs> is that, that would be, that's, so that's Monica Price. That's Monica Blart Price. Blart Vezi, I love it. And it sounds like a character from a it Wild does, West novel. It does, does it? Yes. Blart really. Vezi, yee-haw. Yes. <laughs> so, <clears throat> How wonderful. Me. So again, it's just a little bit of fun, but people can get these yes. from the libraries throughout July, yeah. free of charge. And you can just... Uh, and you can come and uh, hopefully, what we'd like people we'll to do is to use them yeah, we'll uh, throughout in your life. Yeah, we'll later, I'm sure. We will. Well, that's, that's great. And then what's the food items you've bought? Well, the food what items, um, all around the country, we're probably best yeah. known for these, which are yes. grape haze. Grape haze. So grape haze are a traditional dish. Uh, you soak them overnight. Now, there's a lot of recipes, but they're very, very simple. Yes. Soak them overnight with bicar bicarbonate of soda. Right. And then you just cook them very slowly probably about three or four hours, and then you add bacon, and then you serve, serve them with bread. Uh, very and traditional. traditional black country? Grain pies and bacon, right. is yeah. what said. <laughs> yes. And a lot of the local pubs will do these, and I know Central Library in West Bromwich uh, throughout July in a couple of days will be actually doing oh, these in their new cafe. I've never tasted that, it sounds mm -hmm. delicious. We'll have to bring you some out, Monica. Say, bring me some, yeah. I don't want the dried version, Next, <laughs> I, I want the real version. Yes. And what else is in mm. here? And what these, and here? this is probably the oldest fashion, uh, the oldest black country dish of them all. And these What's are groats. Groats. And this is the, the husk of an oat. It's a bit like pearl barley. Yes, yes. Um, and traditionally it was cooked all day. And they used to say that you could tell a good groaty pudding if you could stand your spoon up in it. <laughs> um, and the groaty pudding, um, it cooks for about 16 hours. 16. So, so it's now fast food. There's now fast food. <laughs> food. Would well, you invite fast people around then. for dinner? And then? <laughs> well, I'd cook this for friends. Yes. And if you call it grotty pudding, no one's interested. But if you call it black country risotto, oh, mm. I've had more takers for that. He's posh. Black country risotto. Is he posh? Yes. Is he going posh he on his jacket? <laughs> and it's just chin of beef uh, and leek, yes. water, and and groats. Wow. Um, and one famous Wensbury poet, Jeff Stevens, yes. uh, did a, a great poem, and it was about uh, his nan who did the outhouse and she'd run out of um, cement. Yes. So she'd actually use grotty pudding. And when they come to knock it down, the only thing that still stood was the outhouse. No. So it has, uh, you can use it in the building train. But it is a lovely, a lovely, lovely, uh, lovely oh, dish. Oh, again, I'd have to try that. So we'll definitely invite you out. Oh, that would be yes. lovely. And look at, I know these are, you know, we see these in the shops and these Herbal are from the back country. They are. They are. Yes. Um, some of the events lovely. that we're doing in the libraries are to show films. Uh, one of them, mm. he's a film by Martin Parr, and he went to Teddy Gray's, which is a very famous local Swede shop. Yes. Again, famous for herbal tablets. Yes. And the film shows a day in the life of Teddy Gray's. Right. So we've just bought these, and these are used for, well, all year round, yeah. but in the yes. winter they are great winter yes. warmers, really. Yes. Fantastic. But we, but we got those out before we, we showed the film, so yes. everybody had some, and all yes. you could smell was this aroma of herbal tablets. Herbal tablets. <laughs> yes, <I say. laughs> and of course, pork scratchings. And yes. the pork scratchings. Now, again, Want to risk your tea? Oh, yes, okay, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll decline on those ones. Yeah. <laughs> and again, very, very traditional, and yes. a lot of the pubs. And these have recently So that's seen... a tr traditional black country... Snack, is it? Yes, yes, they are. Bar snack. Yes. Bar yes. snack. Yes. Uh, and it's, it's, it's funny, because Heston Blumenthal, uh, yeah. last year, uh, did a, a meal, and yeah. it was everything with scratchings in it. Oh, wow. So the starter was like a mayonnaise, but it had scratching dust on it. Oh, and wow. for the dessert, he had uh, chocolate-covered scratchings. <laughs> And I've tried those, Monica, and they're not that nice. And so I, think, uh, <laughs> yes, I think we'd so I wouldn't, uh, yeah. Yeah. And, and tell us about this, Jackie. What's this lovely little... Well, little, you, you know more about that, don't yes. you? That's the... Uh... It's the, the Tipton Thunderbolt. The Tipton uh, Thunderbolt, the black, yeah. the black Country is famous for a lot of things, mm. which we like during July mm. to, to, to put a spotlight on, really. Yes. Now, the Tipton Thunderbolt was made in Tipton, and it was a car made by Bean, Bean Cars. And it broke the world land speed records twice in 1937. Really? Um, and what we do, um, we go into the schools and we, we, we talk about the area. Yes. And also, 
uh, people think when you say what's this they think yes. it's an aeroplane yes or, um, and then when you say where was it built they'll say Japan and when you say it was actually made in the black country yes. um, so do you like gives us a great opportunity to, to really spread the spotlight the history, history. Yeah. And, and, and children are fascinated by that local it history for you, Jackie, yeah, it to is. show the children the next generation like we were just yeah. saying really they are and, and, and it does it just just gives that another dimension yeah that they'll they'll come in and think you know what our libraries have got something to offer you. Yes. And, and when people are visiting the library, you presume they can visit online as, as well. Yes, and, you, know, yeah, you can, can join online, online as well, 24 7. And I was going to ask you that, it's 24 7. 7 so you've yes. got the, and, and when you do events like this, do you find that people come from other areas to come and visit your library as well? They do, and of yes. course, being the black country as it is, yes. we do cover a lot of borders anyway. Yeah. And, you know, anyone is welcome in a Sandwell yeah. library. Yeah, yeah. No, which, is, which is great, isn't mm. it? Uh, last got... year we did a, a black country food festival. Oh, yes. And we had uh, some American visitors and they tried faggots and they tried grape. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> it was a bit of a culture shock, really. <laughs> yeah. But again, uh, wonderful, though, because, I mean, it is, it's got its own history. It's, mm. it's wonderful. It well, it's been a pleasure. Pleasure to have you both on the show. Thank you so Thank much you for coming. Thank and, you. and make sure you come in next time and bring me some we'll of this book. That would be lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. So we're just going to take a quick break now, but come back and join me in just a second. Welcome back to Cuppa TV. I'm now joined by Yestin Morris, opera singer extraordinaire. Yestin, thank you so much. It's a great pleasure. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely for you to come on to Cuppa TV. And you're Peter Pan. I am indeed. Uh, I, I've actually and I actually had the opportunity of being able to perform it in Birmingham last month. It was yes. fantastic. I've been in and around the the area, sort of mm. concerts in rugby, concerts in Coventry. Uh, Coventry. In fact, I'm back in Coventry Cathedral next Good Friday for their annual Passion concerts that they have. Yes. But uh, but never. In, in Birmingham, and then suddenly last last month we managed to get the Peter Pan at the Hippodrome. Which it was is a wonderful. fantastic first experience. But you know your career. Tell us about your career, Esther. Oh well, where I, did it begin? I, I think it all started probably age thirteen when uh, when I managed to get into an opera. Uh, it was in Venice. It was lovely. It was it was all sort of fantasy land. Never thought it was going to end up as being my actual career. Uh, went off, did another undergraduate degree and and that thought there wasn't enough music in my life had to retrain and this is now something like 13 years later I'm I'm here, <laughs> here doing, doing Peter Pan and still being still never growing up basically yes. <laughs> and you're a counter tenor aren't you yes That's what you've got yeah. so when you were cast for Peter Pan I mean Peter Pan in opera I mean I've, I've never heard of anything like that is this the first this is very much the, the first and mm. it's a it's a co-commission between um, Welsh National Opera in Cardiff Stuttgart Opera and Berlin uh, Commercial Opera Berlin in. So it's it's a very exciting project to be involved in a new commission, new idea. Whenever you talk about Peter Pan, everyone says, "Oh, are you doing a, a Christmas show, a pantomime, or something <laughs> yes. like that?" I say, no, no, this is serious, serious yes, work. Serious, <laughs> that's right, yes. um, and uh, ha however, then of course you realise that throughout its hundred and ten year sort of theatrical history, mm. uh, Peter Pan as a, as a piece has got so much cultural heritage, and it's so much part of our our um, our personality and yes. our ideals. Uh, and so, so yes, you do have to hearken to that. And this also, with first in first time in opera, you have spoken text. You have mm. to ask address the audience, ask the audience to wake up Tinkerbell and things like that, and then suddenly you do feel that it is very pantomime yes, because that's, yes. that's, 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 that's part, the of the nature tradition, of it. part of the tradition which has been taken over by, by pantomime. Mm -hmm. But then you realise that that actually mm -hmm. happened for the first time in 1910 when it was first performed as a, as a straight theatre play. Um, and uh, long before people in the 60s were talking about breaking through the mm -hmm. fourth wall of theatre and, and let's engage the audience directly and all that, so it, it, it had already happened. And so it feels quite right to be doing this in a new operatic um, commission. Yes. Yeah, and has it been exciting for you? And obviously you've embraced it. But it's been great fun. Yes. I mean, part, of, part of the technical side of things is that, of course, Peter Pan has to fly. Though, yes. so, so for most of the time, my feet are not on the ground. Yes. And, <laughs> and that, of course, when... And and you singing opera, that surely must be quite difficult. singing, it's a very, very difficult technical mm. challenge. You've got this, this very restrictive um, flight belt on all the time. Um, and actually, for, for ease of, of, of all the technical things, all the children have to fly. So you've got four, you've got four people in the sky most of the time. Mm. Uh, it's for, for the technical side of things, it's a lot easier if I just keep the belt on so you just mm. certain things like not going to the loo for three and a half hours is yes. really yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, one of the many challenges, yes, that, it challenges yes. that you face but I mean it's going to the Royal Opera House
out in London, isn't it, it this is. month? It's which on is on the 24th and 25th of, yes, of July. Yes, yeah. which is amazing. Again, are you excited by that prospect? Well, it's, it's a childhood dream, I suppose, mm -hmm. in a way. Everyone wants to be at Covent Garden. Everyone wants to be on the main stage at that Royal Opera House. Um, and so, so yes, this is my debut uh, coming, coming no up No pressure, this, this leave summer. part. Exactly. No, no Restrictive problem. belt. Total, total it's, all, it's all good, yes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's one of, the, one of those great, great opportunities yeah. where I think, no, I'm going to seize yes, it and I'm going to really yeah. enjoy it when I can. So when you're, you know, when you're touring around the world, because you have, you've been around the world, Estine, haven't you, with, with your career. Is, is Vienna, I mean, that's known obviously for the opera, but as equally as, as is the Royal Opera House in London. Is there a special place that you haven't been to yet that you'd like to? Is there a special place? I think everyone has uh, has a, a little secret passion for going to, for example, La Scala in mm. Milan. That's something you want to. You, there, you have, there is a little tick tick yes. list of places. Yes. Um, and yes, most of my career has been in in Holland and Germany so far. Mm. Um, it's it's very nice uh, this year doing something at home where suddenly I, I, I go to places and say, oh yes, I know what you're doing. Like, well, yes. I'm really used to being anonymous. Thank you very yes. much. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I know exactly yeah. what you're doing. I saw you in the Times. I saw yes. you doing that. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, but uh, but no the, the 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 tick list is usually places where you're uh, where you grew up. So for me, growing up in in London, uh, the tick list was Coliseum, was Covent Garden, and so it's it's very much a, a wow, living the dream kind of moment. Yes. <laughs> and, me, and what about your your parents and friends? Are they very supportive of what you're doing? My parents have been extremely supportive. My 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 father was an actor. My they met actually as stage managers uh, in in Portsmouth, um, at both my parents and uh, and so so yes, they they have they did understand and going from a mechanical engineering undergraduate mm. degree in Bristol, yes. um, that uh, when I said I'd actually quite like to retrain and, and become a singer, they, they sort mm. of understood. They, they weren't best pleased about it, but they, they understood yeah. that there was that, that need that to, to perform. They, yes, exactly. And when did you feel that you, it was an opera? You wanted to be an opera singer? Did, was, that, was that something you said, oh, I'm going to be an opera singer, or did you just progress to that? I suppose it's a, a long-term ideal. The first time I, I did see opera was, uh, was at the age of 13. Um, and it was it was a fascinating, absorbing event. But I do remember that that, that was at the end of a, a long period of, of fantastic singers coming through, but not necessarily fantastic actors coming through. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, being the son of an actor is one of the things which I slightly railed against. I think the only way, I, I, but I saw opera as this an ama uh, this astounding art form that mm -hmm. could be uh, almost a complete art form. Um, and I thought the only way I'm going to try and do this is is try and do it from the inside and try and try and get exciting creative roles, mm -hmm. look at them differently, and try and in incorporate a, 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 a slightly higher sense of acting yes. with, with, with the voice as well. And I've seen some of your work, and I mean, you do that. You There is a sort of extra creativity, if you like, to your work. Do you, is that, is that, you do that really, is that something you want to do and do more of? I think it's partly to do with the voice as well. I think it's, uh, I feel that I'm a very physical singer. Uh, when, when, you, when you train in, in college, you, uh, you do get told in, in several several classes that uh, that you you should really own your moat from the neck up kind of thing. Any time you have a gesture, then it's going to be it's going to be criticised. It's going to be commented on, and, and so a lot of people they, they end up yes. doing their wonderful song recitals like this, and you think, well, come on, I, I my voice doesn't seem to work like that. I need to engage the whole body, um, so I am a physical character on stage anyway. It makes sense to go in, in, in into an operatic side of things because when when I do a song recital I am also mm. quite physical I, mm. I, te I ten don't tend to move around but I do involve the whole body just to produce the sound yes. but also as a character that you're playing in a, in, in a song recital you still have to embody that mm. character so yes. well we're going to listen to some of your uh, one of your pieces actually so would you like to introduce uh, yes, it I to think us you've tell got, us um, uh, you think you've got a clip from something that is fast becoming a regular feature in my annual concert diary, which is uh, in a beautiful city of Bialystok in the east of Poland. It's uh, actually known as the Versailles of Poland, so you'll, you'll get an idea of, of, of why I'm in, in this wonderful 18th century surroundings. Uh, it's actually in the ballroom of a copy of the Palace of Versailles. Um, I'm going there again at the end of the uh, end of August this this year too. So uh, so yes, it's 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 a very nice um, nice part of my year. Um, and this is a, a Handel aria uh, from his opera Orlando. It's called Stige Larve, and uh, he is the title role Orlando. He is crossing the river Styx, going to the gates of hell. Fantastic. Well, we should look forward to that. But thank you so much for coming on Cup of TV. This it's been thank a you great so pleasure. much. Thank, thank you. you. So that's it for today. I'd like to thank Robert, Jackie, and Yestin for joining me today. And if you'd like to get in touch with us, you can join us on Facebook or Twitter at Big Centre TV. We'd love to hear from you. Come back and join me very soon. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>